All right, you guys, I want to introduce you to Mary Angela, AKA M. This is, this is who she is right here with us. And she is on a mission to tackle the stigma around talking about mental health struggles. Her project is called Faces of Fortitude, gives people affected by suicide a safe space to share their stories, which is amazing. Welcome. Thanks for having me. All right, this idea that we all need a safe place to go to. I mean, it's not new. I think a lot of us are trying to figure out like we should never put anyone uh, down for any reason. We need to all have a, a safe idea and a place to go where we feel loved, where we feel heard. When did you come to that realization that you wanted to uh, tackle you know, suicide and folks who are affected by suicide? Um, I lost my brother who used to work for King Five back in the day. Um, and you know, I had spent years trying to find a place to talk about it. And I would tell people and talk to people and say, this, this happened to my brother, right. or what do you think about this topic? And there were so many whispers and so many people that would say, I'm so sorry about that thing. Right. Or, and they couldn't even use the word. And so, you know, in the social media age, I decided I wanted to share my self-portrait. And so I took my own picture, very amateur uh -huh. photographer at best. And um, I put it up there with some words about what I had gone through and it exploded. It exploded and people started sending me their stories and what had happened to them. And I realized that a space was needed. It's like we, we, we look at social media, right? We talk about this a lot. Everybody's life seems so perfect and pretty and, right. and with a bow. When you get deeper, it's like, no, people are hurting just like me and we need a place to talk about this. So what you're talking about is something called, you call it faces of fortitude. Mm -hmm. All right, and so it's an idea that you take pictures. Right, so you apply to be part of my project. Okay. I, I have a pr uh, an application process because it's gotten a little bit bigger than I can yeah, handle. Right. And um, yeah, you, you can be touched by suicide in any way, whether you've lost a loved one, whether maybe you attempted and you've gone to some counseling and you're on kind of a better road and you have some hope. Maybe you've struggled with mental illness and then it's a conversation. It's about opening a conversation between two people. Mm -hmm. So we sit in a studio and I tell my story and they tell me theirs and we share. There's something really amazing when you talk to people about grief and loss and trauma yeah. and when you see how they're dealing with it versus how you're dealing with it, you learn things. And then I take photos with a remote. It's on a, it's, it's on. You're it's learning totally, how to be a photographer. This uh, is oh, I, I've taught myself how to edit yeah. and how to, I can, can call myself a professional photographer now. Um, and so I take photos. They barely notice it. It's on a remote. It's, it's on a tripod. And yeah. um, then the photos are um, the end result. The photo gets your attention. It's the story that really gives yeah. us meaning. And we look through those photos. A lot of them are local. Maybe you recognize them. But not only that, you are now getting national attention. Yeah. Um, talking on, on shows all over the country on the national spectrum. And one of your newest addition, Robin Williams' son. Right. How did that come about? Um, we were on the same podcast a few weeks apart, and um, the host um, connected us. And I kind of, I was very nervous. I, you know, was said he said I'd love to learn about it, and um, so I had a few glasses of wine. And you got the courage to do it. Yeah, I know? was like, oh, let me email him, and he was lovely and just like a spitting image of his dad. And yeah. for me, it wasn't about who he was and who his dad was. It was like, let's show that it can be anyone. Mm -hmm. It can touch anyone. And so we had a lovely conversation down in LA, which I'll shoot, I shoot down there as well. And um, he wanted to tell me about his loss and the fact that he had to grieve with the world. Know, that was tough. And it was, um, and it brought so many people to my project that were like, oh, his death really hit us. Oh, I know. And that's how a lot of people connect to suicide and who they think of immediately, so. Well, just looking on your social media and your website, I can tell people are coming every single day. We put a keyword, faces, 206-448-4545, and we'll kick you back the social media handles, her website, you can get more research on that and reach out, of course, if you'd like. But I can see this going big just because we need to help as many people as possible. So thank you. Thank you so much. So much.